Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, Jeff aka G-Curse here. I have a little bit of free time. So I figured, hell, why not do another unboxing and review video? So stay tuned, and after these quick, old, old, quick, quick, anyway. After these commercials from Transformers from the 80s. Oh my god, it's totally going off the rails. Anyway. After these old Transformers commercials, I'll be right back. Masters! Who will join me? Who will give up the power to transform to become stronger, faster, more alive? I will! Count me in! And so, Action Masters are born. Transformer Action Masters are incredibly detailed action figures. Action Masters! Action is alive, alive! Action Masters! But the evil Decepticons steal the power and become Action Masters too. Led by Megatron and Starscream, they battle Optimus Prime, Jazz, and Bumblebee like you've never seen them battle before. Action Masters ride into battle in sleek transforming vehicles and fight alongside vicious transforming animals and battle droids. Transformers! Action Masters! Get in on the action! Action Masters! Welcome back. So... I have quite a few products that I have to get. Oh my god. What? Fuck it, I'll just keep going. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> As you can tell, I am a fan of Transformers, and once in a while I will strike out, you know, just beyond like Beast Wars and Generation 1. And something I have uh, come into appreciation of is Generation 2. I recently did an unboxing video, which I will put in the link below. It was of the G2, uh, or Legacy Evolution G2 Universe Deluxe Class Jazz. And I went on record saying that I fucking loved the, the coloring of that figure. I loved it all, all, everything about that figure. It's fucking awesome. Anyway, I uh, wanted to throw a shout out to the, per, uh, to the, company that I bought it from uh, I went through Amazon through a third party and I bought it and oh my god that company I, oh, that company actually did a pretty damn good job at wrapping that box up to try to protect it uh, I'm going to actually also leave a link to that uh, unveil uh, unbo uh, unveil well that unboxing slash delivery but anyway that company used a shit ton of bubble wrap and saran wrap. And I actually still have the bubble wrap. I use it as a way to help calm, da calm down or relax if need be. I just, oh yeah, right there, right there. But, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to throw a shout out. I originally said that when I went to do the unboxing and review of the, the G2 Jazz, I was going to throw out their name, but I forgot to. Well, anyway, I'm, I figure I better do it now since I'm right here. So, here you go. I know you may not be able to read it. But if they still if there's, they still have any of these figures left and you need the figure, you can get it uh, via day or one-shot distribution. They, Like I said, they even though I don't give a flying fuck about the boxes, I know that there are people that does. And if you want a company that... Well, at least, you know, go through a little bit of effort to keep your package protected. Uh, I suggest going through this company. I'm not sure if they still have any more of the G2. Uh, oh, God, the G2 Jazz figures. If they have other figures, they may use a shit ton of bubble wrap. So, like I said, I just want to throw a shout out to them for doing such an awesome job of keeping the figure protected. But anyway, with all that sappy shit out of the way... The product that I'm going to be unboxing and doing a review of tonight, it is the Generations Selects G, uh, Megatron. This is the G2 variant. As you can tell, I'm on a little bit of a G2 kick here. And, you know, I was actually... I've, I had never really planned on buying this figure. Like, it's like, it's another Megatron but after I got back into collecting, after my mom passed away, I figured, fuck it, why not? Let, let, let's just go hardcore balls to the wall, and let's just buy up everything that catches my eye, you know? I figure, you know, if I have nothing else to do with my life, I'm going to enjoy what 
what time I have left on this earth, you know? So I'm, I went and I bought this guy. Actually, I should. Actually, I think I will. I'll be right back. I'm going to get this seller's information so you guys can have it in case, you know, you're curious about it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there you go. So it's, now that I'm back, uh, as I was saying, though, I, you know, I'm going to enjoy what's left of my life. You know, who, we never know how much time we have left on this planet. So I figured, fuck it. Instead of living, you know, in sorrow that my mom's gone, I'm just going to actually have some fun and, re you know, reinvest in my, hmm, reinvest in my hobby. I, uh, like I said before, when she passed away, I just basically stopped living, I guess you could say. I stopped doing everything I love to do, and, you know, I'm getting back into doing that, and that means buying Transformers, you know. It's like I used to tell my mom. I used to tell her, you know, I my hobby could be a lot worse. I could be buying Transformers, or I could be buying drugs, you know, like... Granted, buying Transformers is like buying drugs. It gives you a little bit of a high when you get these things, but it's not gonna. You're not gonna be left in such a bad place, become like addicted normally, you know, unless you have like one of those really, you know, susceptible personalities. But it isn't like you're doing heroin where you're destroying your body or anything. I'm just buying Megatron, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so hold on. Let's actually change the title. There we go. And then here we go. Ooh, jeez, I forgot. Okay, so let's let's actually shrink this a little bit. There we go. Bing. And then we'll do this. And then we'll, there you go. And there. But, uh, so, I just figured, you know, so I decided to buy Megatron. I, I saw, I, once I saw this figure, I was kind of on the fence for quite a while as I was starting to get back into trans uh, collecting Transformers about a year ago, roughly. Uh, and I would see this figure, and I'm like, I don't, do I really need a neon green and purple Megatron? And I was such on the fucking fence. I was on the fence. And then something happened. I ended up starting to buy, I bought the Wreck and Rule collection uh, this last summer. And one of the figures who I actually have here is G2 Universe Leadfoot. And I'll be honest, I think he's pretty cool. And it was via this little motherfucker here that I ended up started getting my foot into uh, the G2 Universe, basically. He was like my entry, po entry point into G2. And then after that, even though I, I also do have, I guess I can't really say he was the first... Because I have Laser Optimus Prime. I think this guy is supposed to be G2, but he really doesn't have the neon color. So to me, I don't really view him as like G2. But I also do have, and this guy is G2, I have G-Axis. So, or G-Axis, or however you want to pronounce it. So I guess I have a couple besides Leadfoot, but... Like this guy, like this guy right here, Optimus, he is actually... I don't view him as G2, I'm pretty sure he is. I think it even says possibly, but to me, he just doesn't have the bright coloring, you know. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh my god, I can't. Anyway. Anyway. So, I figured, you know, okay, let's find this guy. You know, let's go, let's get this guy. And I decided to, you know, invest some money in, in it. And granted, it was a little bit of a costly, costly buy. But, uh, so I got this from a third party because third party sellers are all, are the only one that's selling this figure now. So I went through Toys and Brick Attic and they actually did a pretty damn good job. I'm not, you know, the, I don't consider this like an endorsement or anything. I'm just saying if you want to get this figure and you have the coin to put down, you know, the, when I got it, this is where I got it from. I'm not sure if they still have this figure anymore. You can always check though. But anyway, Megatron uh, G2, or this Megatron is basically a repaint, I don't think anything on him has really changed, but it's a repaint of Earthrise Megatron, or War for Cybertron, Earthrise Megatron, and overall, from my initial, uh, 
from my initial uh, viewing of this character of this figure when I did my uh, Amazon deliveries video. I was pretty happy. By the way, I'll also be putting that link to the Amazon deliveries video in the description so you can uh, check it out if you want. I was actually pretty happy. I think this was, besides, you know, like, uh, besides my buddy here, Nacho Jazz, <laughs> I was pretty happy with G2, uh, Generation 2 Megatron. But, enough of me, you know, kind of blubbering and and, and, and reminiscing about my love for Transformers. Let's actually get on to that goddamn uh, unboxing. So, I'll be right back with the unboxing. Action Masters! New Action Masters are here! Incredibly detailed action figures that battle like never before! Transformers! Action Masters! Action! The evil Starscream attacks in the turbojet, but the Autobots are ready with Prowl's turbo cycle and overruns attack copter. And look, the Action Master vehicles transform into powerful battle stations. Transformers! Action Masters! New Action Masters figures and vehicles. Action Masters! Okay, everybody, welcome back to the unboxing. Uh, basically, due to the sticker being... I forgot to have them put this box inside another box, so they put a, the, the shipping sticker on the front, so I'm going to kind of hide that so you guys don't really see any vital information. So basically, you have the Megatron name here, partial logo there, useless bullshit there, nothing on the bottom, and then... War for Cybertron Trilogy. So, yeah. But let's get this box opened up, shall we? Let's get this box opened up, because I know what that's that's why everybody's here. Because they're not here to fucking hear me talk and ramble like some weird, weird motherfucker. So, but anyway, so. Bam. Here we go. Here we have Megatron G2. Oh, my God. There we go. Megatron G2, and I think he looks fucking awesome. I'm not sure how many people bought this figure, but just by looking at it, I, I, I am very pleased with it. The only flaw that my Earthrise Megatron that I ha also have right here, I brought some figures out to do a little, a little bit of a comparison, I guess you could say. The only flaw that this Megatron has is his foot it's really kind of soft. I mean, you, it, yeah, it, it has no friction to it. This one, it's a little bit better, but it's still not as stiff as this. You know, this one is not stiff at all. But So I'm hoping that this figure, that this Megatron figure does not have that same problem. So let's actually pull the figure out. He comes in his little plastic uh, tray. This is one of the times that, I don't want to say it's one of the times because it isn't, but I'm not sure what it is, but it seems that Hasbro seems to go through phases when it comes to how they package these figures. Right now, we're currently in the uh, paper, the, the, the non-plastic form or format of getting the packaging these figures. Before that, they had figures that were in these trays, but had the bands that you'd have to cut or, or, you know, slice through. And then for a brief period between that time and the paper time, they actually went with a format where basically they put, you know, they would kind of vacuum seal the, the plastic around the figure. So as you can see, there is no... There is no uh, bands that you have to cut. The figure is here. It's just that the plastic. What I think, what I can imagine happening, is that they literally took the Megatron figure and they held it in midair, and they had some sort of machine that came up, and it just literally just kind of vacuum sealed the plastic around Megatron, and that's how we have this. It's probably not what happened, but my imagination likes to think that it's something futuristic like that, you know. But anyway, so let's get to the um, let's get to the uh, freeing of this figure. So I'm going to turn the camera off, and then I'll turn this one on. Ah, there you are. And then I have my other camera here. I'll take, take this off. As you can see, I have some of the figures already out. 
But first, let's get Megatron open, because that's what we're all here for. We're here to see Megatron. This is about Megatron, ladies and gentlemen. This is These, these guys are nice, but Megatron is the star of this party tonight, you know. This is the man of the hour. <laughs> so let's get this weapon out. Ooh, wow, that came out pretty damn easy. The weapon here is the same weapon that came with Earthrise Megatron. It's just in a different color. This guy is literally, like I said... I think he's literally just a straight repaint. I don't think there's anything different. Okay, let's see. Let's maybe his black, his fusion cannon is as easy to get out as it was, the other one the uh, this thing was. You can't even see it. Oh my god! Now this is the one problem that I have. Every time I've ha got figures that had that was vacuum sealed, basically. Uh, the, the, the item, the, especially the weapons, they are so fucking hard to get out. And this is the, the this is that. So I'm actually going to mute it so you don't hear the crackling and everything. And you may actually see me starting to, like, cuss because I'm going to probably get upset trying to pull this thing out. So I'm going to mute it, but I'll leave the uh, cameras running, so I'll be right back. And I only said 1,300 cuss words during that little amount of time. 1,300, can you believe that? Uh, I'm, j I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we have the fusion cannon. It is in a lovely purple, although the camera kind of picks it up. It kinda, to me, at least what I see on my computer screen, it looks like it's kind of blue, but it's, to me, to my eyes, it looks purple. Okay, so let's see here. Can we get Megatron out? Without there being a whole shit ton of noise. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try real easy first to get him out. If I have problems then I'll mute the mic again. So you don't hear all that. <laughs> and then you'll probably see me let off a few thousand more swears. As I'm trying to get this motherfucker free. So here. Let's. Okay. Okay. Fuck it. I'm not into that fucking AMSR shit. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to fucking bombard you guys with all that goddamn noise so i'm gonna mute it and i'll be right back i only i only let out three swear words that time <laughs> i know somebody's gonna fucking reply and go you're fucking lying jeff you did not swear at all <laughs> you didn't swear stop fucking lying <laughs> Oh, by the way, little known fact. Oh, by the way, it's, it's all empty now. Little known fact. Apparently, from what I understand, YouTube has like a fuck uh, limit before you start getting in like all the getting all like getting all pissy at you. And I think like the, the, the limit is like five. So I think I'm at least like six now. So I'm probably on uh, YouTube shit list right now. Okay, so here we go. Here we have Megatron Generation 2. Here, let's actually turn this off. Oh, no, where are you going, Jeff? Turn this one off. And then turn this one on. There we go. So I'm, I'm, this is only going to be momentarily. So here here he is in all his G1 goodness. Wow, this, okay, that's where it is. Uh, when I first opened this package up, when I did the deliveries... I saw that, um, I looked at his chest, I'm like, where's the logo at? There was no logo. Did, did they forget to put a logo on? No. They put the logo on right here. It's a Decepticon logo, but it's the G2 Decepticon logo. That is fucking cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And, the, oh my god, the leg is actually, the foot, the tiltage is nice and stiff. Hot damn. I fucking like that. What about this? Oh! Oh my god, it is so nice compared to Earthrise Megatron, which I'm pretty sure I could just shake. Yeah, look at this. I can just shake it and he... Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm not sure if this is the right place to put the cannon when he's in his primary mode, so I just put it there. Yeah. 
Okay, so back to the man of the hour. So let's go back, do this. Let's do this. And this. There we go. So, anyway, so let's get this guy armored up. So we are going to put his cannon. You know, I really wish that they could have taken off the spear, the spear part and just left the uh, cannon. That way you could just put it right here and it looked kind of cool. But because you have the spear, it kind of jets it up a little bit, even a little bit more. But that that's okay. That's okay. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. No, not really. I'm, go I'm going to go into my bedroom after this video is over. And I'm going to cry into my pillow like, oh my god, why is that cannon so fucking high? No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Not that, fu not that much. And then now we have the awesome purple fusion cannon. So I actually have the fusion cannon on Megatron's left arm for Earthrise. So for the G2 variant, is variant the right word? Oh, fuck it. I am going to put it now. Oh, I didn't realize that. Does the other one have it? Yeah. There's two like two little pegs here, so I'm hmm. so I'm just gonna put it right here. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, there's not much friction there. Uh, uh, what about this? What about his other arm? Is there more friction on that arm? Yeah, yeah there's more friction on his left arm than his right arm. But I, I'm. Why do why do you gotta why do you gotta trip tip over like that, Mega Drunk? You're not even drunk. What are you doing, dude? Oh my God! What? what, what why is his arm there? Megatron, why are you tipping? Dude, do not do this to me. Do not do this to me. Do, do, n do not. Man, I'm making a fucking video. Do not tip over. You're not allowed to get drunk yet. <laughs> You're not allowed to get drunk yet. So let's put the blaster there. Or fusion cannon. Wow. That's one thing I liked about these Megatron figures. The. The elbow joints are so stiff. Ah, there you go. And there you have. Actually, here let's let's change it up a little bit. Let's put the cannon. Whoa! I didn't know that it would do that. Hmm. That actually comes off. That's I didn't even know that. Well, Jeff, you've had this figure. How do you not know that this part comes off? Well, normally I have actually kept the cannon portion of Earthrise Megatron, I kept it in a bag because I never had it out. So, like, it spent the last couple years in a bag. There we go. And there we have Generation uh, Generation Selects Generation 2 Megatron. And, and he's, he's pretty damn cool. He's pretty damn cool. And in standing him right next to G Axis, that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. He look, I gotta give, I give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. And now here we have. Let's put this guy off to the side. Ouch. Poor G Axis just got a concussion. <laughs> and now we have uh, Laser Optimus Prime with his gimpy right arm. Jeff. What do you mean by gimpy right arm? Here, I'll show you. Here, here. Let me let me switch it back over to the full screen. Hold on. Okay, here we have uh, Laser Optimus Prime and what I call his gimpy. Yes, I fucking said it. Gimpy right arm. I'm not sure what it is. This is like the first mold, you know, first production mold run of this figure. Uh, I also have Toxitron, which is back there, and I also have Scourge, which the, when he's in the other room. They didn't have this problem, but for some reason, this motherfucker, his right arm, the 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 uh, bicep, it is so fucking weak. You can twist arm, and it just comes off. It literally just it, there's it, it's not there's not enough friction for it to stay in place. So if you were to play with it, it would just constantly come off. So that's why I say it's a fucking gimpy arm. And I know there's probably people are probably going to be knocking down my door for saying that, but it's the fucking truth. 
It's the fucking truth. You don't like it? Sue me. And, but this other arm, no problem. See? No, I, other problem. No, see? I, I can, I can, fuck, where's the money, Lebowski? You know, bend his arm behind him. I, give me some fucking money, you little bitch. <laughs> but this guy, you try to do that shit, like, where's the money, Lebowski? And he just, it, just it, 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 it sucks. It fucking sucks. That's what it does. It sucks. Oh, God. Now I, there it goes. But I don't understand. I think it's just a QC issue with my figure. But, yeah. So, I refer to him, him this guy, as Laser Optimus Prime with the gimpy arm. Oh, by the way, let's open these bad boys up. Bam. How fucking cool is that? It would have been even more awesome if they actually launched out. That would have been fucking awesome. But I guess we can't get everything we want. No, we can't. Can we, Optimus? Don't, don't look at me like that. Megatron's right there, dude. Don't look at me like that. That is... Dude, stop guilting me. Stop. Anyway. Anyway, so let's go back. Anyway... There we go. So, uh, so we have Megatron G2 with Laser Optimus Prime. He, you know, Laser Optimus Prime is a little bit taller, mainly because he has those huge fucking honking uh, shoulder pads. And I will go on record and say I fucking hate these things. It limits articulation, and it just looks fucking ugly. I don't know why they had to do it, but they did it. So let's... Move this guy off to the side. Yeah, yes, Optimus, I still love you. You're you're always going to be number one. You're fucking Optimus Prime, dude. But this is not your day. This is not your fucking day. This is Megatron's day. Not your day. <laughs> people, are, people are watching this video going, my God, the guy's fucking cracking right in front of us. <laughs> He's cracking. Uh, here we have. Uh, Megatron with Leadfoot. And as you can tell, Leadfoot is clearly a, a deluxe class, so he's definitely going to be a little bit smaller than Megatron. <laughs> the guy's fucking losing it! <laughs> Some Somebody's like, yeah, can we please get the sixth floor nurse's station, please? <laughs> uh, mm. Anyway, and then we have Nacho Cheese Jazz, which I fucking love. I love the coloring of this figure. It's fucking awesome. And once again, as you can see, he, he's significantly taller because this guy is a Voyager class and Nacho Cheese is deluxe. And then finally, once, in, once again, we have... Earthrise Megatron with his gimpy foot. <laughs> uh, people are going to hate me by the end of this day. <laughs> and as you can see, it's basically, like I said, it's the, sa it's the same guy, just recolored. The, I, the, the one thing I'm thankful of is... One thing I'm thankful of is, for some reason, they actually only really... I think this is the only recolor of this guy that they did. I can't recall they did another one. I, I Well... I think they're the, I think, yeah, I think the bridge crew that was just announced recently, I think that's an Earthrise mold, and it's going to be like a, like a, like a chrome finish. But if you were to compare, you know, like, the amount of repaints that Earthrise Megatron has to the Siege, it's fucking small. Siege, I think Siege has like 10,000 repaints. They went hardcore, hard fucking to the core. With the repaints for Siege Megatron. Thankfully, we're only at, like, what, two? Two now? This guy and the bridge crew. So, I'm all cool with that. But here you have G2 Megatron and Earthrise Megatron. They're, they're both pretty fucking cool. They're pretty fucking cool. I gotta admit it. I got to admit it. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So, when I return, it will be with my review... And then my final thoughts, and then I'm going to be going to fucking bed. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Sylvester's new X.
Action Masters, incredible action figures that battle like never before. Check out Wheeljack's Turbo Racer and Sprocket's Attack Cruiser. Transformers! Action Masters! The action is alive, alive, alive! But look out, Prime, here comes Gut Cruncher in the Stratojet. It's a flying menace that transforms into a terrifying tank and laser cannon. Destroy them! Transformers! Action Masters! New Action Masters figures and vehicles. Action Masters! Okay, everybody, welcome back. If you made it through my delusional rantings as I was talking to Optimus Prime, you have made it to the review portion of this video. Now, overall, this is not going to be like a, a deeply immersive review. These are just, it's like a rapid fire review since I want to try to get these videos out. I'm not going to go into like the intricacies of why I, you know, decided to make it a positive or a negative. I don't even give it a score anymore. I just give you my thoughts and you guys can make an educated decision. So, with that said, let's get to the positives. The coloring is fucking awesome. I'm not sure if this is accurate to the uh, to the comic, but I'm fucking happy with it. The only weird thing is it's not even a bad thing. I my my eyes my eyes I see it purple it looks purple but on my camera it looks blue to me at least. But either way I fucking love the coloring. I love the coloring. The left foot isn't loose at all. I can shake it and it's fucking staying in place. That's fucking cool. Thank you. Thank you uh, Hasbro. Thank you very much. Now, I heard that this is referred to as something like uh, mold degradation possibly when something's not working correctly. If that's the case, then could it be that this guy was the very first uh, figure, you know, the mold for Megatron, you know, out, out of this mold, and that the Earthrise mold was like second? Could it be that this guy was second? I don't know. I don't know. But, God damn it, Megatron, why are you fucking drunk? Anyway, so. The joints are nice and stiff. Oh my god. I don't even think that... I don't think many of my figures from Earthrise have joints as stiff as this. I mean, it is fucking stiff. I mean, like, look at this. I can I can now push up. And that fucker's not going anywhere. That fucker's... The arm will go up. The the arm will go up, but the... Uh, the, the forearm will not. It, it just... It, it refuses. It fucking refuses. So I like that. Yeah, you know, I like that a lot. And then when it comes to articulation, basically, with the exception of like the the hands that cannot rotate because of transformation, everything that you expect to have articulation does have articulation. the The head can do the full Linda Blair. It's doing the Linda Blair, ladies and gentlemen. It's doing the Linda Blair. But if you expect something to move logically, it's going to move on this guy. So articulation is a positive. God damn you, Megatron. You're fucking laying down on the job. Yes, I'm not crazy. Don't tell me I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, for the negatives. The negatives is actually only one real problem. And the port on his right arm for the fusion cannon it's just a little bit too, it's not, as, it's not as snug as I would like it to be. Now let's actually check up here on the shoulder. How is that on the shoulder? Now I know people don't really don't put it up here. Yeah, it's just as loose on the upper. Look at this, look at how loose that is. That is not, that's not cool. That's not cool. That's, look at it, Hasbro. Not cool, dude. <laughs> but yeah, so basically the friction isn't as tight on his right arm as it should be. But, you know, what about on the back? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What is this? Okay, let's try the back port here. Eh, it's still loose. I'm wondering, is it? It could be that peg. Well, hold on. Let's try. Okay, is it this one that I used? Okay, what about the other one? Yeah, they're both loose. Uh, but yeah, so the that's the only real negative I have. It's just that the ports for the fusion cannon are not as tight and snug as it should be. Finally, we have the pet peeves. 
these are basically not a positive or negative. These are just something that it's just something that bothers me basically. Now, basically, you are you you know if you bought this figure, it was a generation select or generation selects or however you want to fucking pronounce it. So it came with a little bit of a higher price. I'd say like I think it's like when it came out it was like ten dollars more. I'm not sure. This was during the time that I kind of froze the world out, and I was just I was just here. You know, I didn't pay much attention to anything after my mom passed away. But the thing is, you are paying a higher cost or a higher price for a, basically a figure you already own that's been repainted. That's fine, but but I would have preferred to have there be a, an extra weapon. Or, or two, you know, like, granted, we do have this fucking shitty, shitty, shitty spear cannon hybrid fuck fest that can go right there. You know, stab, stab, shoot, shoot, stab, stab. But, wouldn't it hurt to have at least a couple other weapons? There is a core class Megatron G2. I think it was from, uh, the legacy line it's either legacy or legacy evolution i can't recall but that core class figure actually comes i think it comes with possibly his cannon plus uh oh it comes with possibly uh a blaster also hold on i'm going to check real quick uh core class megatron 2 and while I'm doing that, let's see here. Can I get a image here? I'm going to activate the screen display so you guys can see. And it does. It does come with. Here you go. So as you can see here, it actually comes with uh, his cannon. And then he also gets a blaster. Why, you know, this is the one question everybody's had. Well, why the fuck does Megatron need a blaster if he has a huge fucking uh, fusion cannon? I don't know, but he has it. Okay, so let's turn it off. But, so, it's like, if they gave that guy, that the core class version of this character, of this toy, a blaster, why didn't they just give this guy a blaster also? If they didn't want to give him a blaster, fine. Why not give him like a, a like a, a sword sword? Oh my god, that fucking sounds bad. Why not give him a melee weapon besides this huge fucking thing? And I understand it's supposed to be like a spear because it has the the tip here, but it's mainly the cannon. The cannon, or sorry, the cannon's right here. I understand that we have a spear. It's okay, even though it kind of looks weird with the hollowed out part here. Wait, where's that piece that fell off? Where's that piece? That fuck over here how the fuck does this thing even attach to it oh, fuck it anyway anyway so th th you know i would just prefer to see a little uh, you know uh an extra accessory or two because of the fact you're paying so much oh my god that thing is so fucking loose uh you're paying so much for you know a, a repaint basically get is it wrong to give the customer something extra? That That's ultimately the question you have to ask yourself. And I think, honestly, give the customer a, a weapon or two more. It's a way of saying thank you to the customer, in my opinion. So, and then the, the Generation Selects box. Without really getting into I don't want to give off too much vital information. Here, let me... I'm just going to show you the bottom of it. The bottom. So there's the bottom and the sides and the front. Somehow people probably got my address from that somehow. They're probably they're sneaky little bastards, I tell you. Anyway, it's a brown box. You're telling me that for 50, 60, 70 dollars for these Generation Selects figures. You're telling me that all you can give us is a fucking brown box with spray paint on it? What the fuck, Hasbro? Look at it! <laughs> you know, I gotta fucking, like, get a picture of my fucking ugly face on a shirt with a hashtag. Look at it! <laughs> 
Look at it. And then finally, the other issue I have is basically the cannon. When you take the 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 cannon off his forearm. Hold on. Come on. Let go. Let go. Thank you. God damn it! These guys always have to fuck fight with me. Yeah, people are watching this. I got like, hey, honey. If I start talking like this guy here, can you get help from me? <laughs> wow, that doesn't actually go in all the way. Huh. But anyway, the, the cannon, when it's on his back like this, it, it just looks too fucking long. It looks like, do you know what this kind of reminds me of? I Back in like World War II, uh, Korea, Vietnam, those kind of wars, there would be the soldiers who would have like the big fucking bulky backpacks that is like the radio and the radio would have like this fucking antenna that would like go past the tree line. That's what this thing fucking reminds me of. Look at how tall it is. Look at it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, these are nothing that really actually hurts the figure. It actually looks kind of cool the way that it's tilted like that. To be like a mortar. But anyway, uh, these are nothing that really can hurt the figure. It's just things that bother me, you know. But that is it for the review, so stay tuned and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. The Autobot Action Masters transform the Turbo Racer and the Attack Cruiser. But the Decepticons battle back with Gut Cruncher and the Stratojet, transforming it into a tank and laser cannon. Action Masters figures and vehicles. Action Masters! Alrighty, everybody. Time for the final thoughts. Uh, I'm overall very satisfied. Really? Really? I'm not sure if you can hear. I'll be right back. I'm going to make sure that's not my vehicle. Be right back. Okay, I'm back now that the car alarm has stopped. Not my car, by the way, but anyway. Overall, I'm very happy with this guy. Uh, the the only negative, like I said, which is the lack of real friction on the right arm. Let's see, how is it again on the left arm? Let's see here. On the yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit tighter, but it isn't like anything. It isn't like anything perfect. Overall, the the negatives, you know, the positives outweigh the negatives. So when it comes to this figure. If you were trying to get into the G2 market, or the G2 collection, I guess you could say, this figure is fucking a good place to start. Unless you already, like, if you unless you want to start with, like, a deluxe class, like Nacho Jazz. This guy is a good way to start, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, for it being an Earthrise recolor... It's one of the it's one of the few. I think that I think as of right now, this is like there's only one, maybe two with the bridge crew that's going to be coming out. So it's not like that. This mold was terribly abused, like the siege, uh, siege, Megatron was. So overall, I, I I strongly you know I strongly you know think that this is an awesome figure. But if you want to get the figure, you should get it on your own merits or. Is that the right way to say it? Get it because you want to get it. Don't get it because I said to get it. I'm just giving you my thoughts. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you for the next unboxing and review. So stay tuned. And until then, take it easy, everybody. Peace out.